Hello and welcome. It is I, your friendly neighborhood, they, them. I'm Vic, and in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through my ring binder. I have quite a bit of a problem of starting and never finishing notebooks, and I'm hoping that this will be the answer. The grand solution to all of my problems, or so I hope. This is an A5 ring binder with this gorgeous blue leather. On the inside, I use both Midori and Tomoe River paper, both plain, both from Jet Pens. I'll have a link in the down bar to everything that you see in this video. I love both Tomoe River and Midori paper, so I use both. All right. On the inside, I have a flower that my partner made me, a pink tulip. A little field note sides notebook where I keep track of my extraordinarily low blood pressure. This is from the Wright Company. It is fountain pen friendly. Blotting sheets from J. Urban. A writing board by Hobonichi. Writing board with lines on it in case I want grid or line to paper. And one of the Opanchu file folders from Hobonichi with a love letter that my partner wrote me on the inside. So that's what's in the pockets. I also have uh, Tomoe River paper in the white. This is specifically from Galen Leather. It's a much shorter size than the other ones. So I keep tabs for all of my hobbies. We have the ink tab, a diary tab, a scrap tab, reading poems and just blank because that is where I keep my blank paper. I have cut it a little bit shorter on the side and I've hole punched it using my six hole punch. And that's just a mix of Tomoe River and Midori cream paper. I do prefer cream over white paper. So these had other things on it because I thought I was going to use it for other things and then I was like actually I have other notebooks for that this ring binder doesn't work for that but it will work for all of these other things so out comes the ancient label maker where the scissor function no longer works but it still creates labels so I have labeled them in my own way so for inks I'm keeping track of all of the inks I've used so far in the last two months and will continue to do so as I ink my pens. I did not pre-read any of this, so maybe I should just skip the diary section. Uh, diary is very much so stream of consciousness writing when I, when I need it, if I need it. I do have morning pages. I have a notebook set out for that that I'm going to start next year when I do the artist's way. But I carry this around with me. So if I need to write something, work through something, if there's just this need to get words out of me, this is where I do that in the diary section. Scrap section is a glue-in section. I adore this because I can take the paper out, get funky with it, wrap the entire paper in tissue paper if I feel like it, put washi tape on the edges and re-hole punch it. It's just fun. Little scraps of paper that I enjoy, that I've been given, that I have found, receipts that I don't want to get rid of and want to save but don't know where to save it, and it goes in the scraps section. This is, in fact, my favorite section, and I have a feeling this entire binder might just turn into a scrap binder eventually, and I love that. Why? Because I can make it as chunky as I want and it'll still fit in the rings as opposed to messing up a binding uh, in a notebook. So very much enjoying the scrap section. This is from Beetlejuice. We have the reading section. I do have a little bit of a reading journal going here. I also keep my Hobonichi reading journal as well. So a reading journal, they are different sizes. <laughs> I cut them because I was planning on using rings in the Hobonichi covers and then the paper was coming out of the sides so I cut it and then I realized that that wasn't working for me so I went back into this binder and I didn't want to get rid of the paper so it's different sizes. Yours will be the same size, you know, it doesn't bother me. 2023, books read, favorite so far of the year, for month. Um, 
and then some book notes and quotes. So this is mostly what the reading section is going to be for, will be book notes, because I feel like they don't fit in the Hobonichi, and I get to move it around. I'm a mood reader, I read many books all at once, I don't finish all of my books, but I want to be able to keep all the notes from the same book, even if it takes me 10 years to read the book, in one section. So I can just, when I'm done writing the notes for that book, take them all out and then put them in the correct section for that book. So the most functional part of this tab is reading notes. While in the Hobonichi, I just keep a monthly glance and like the reviews of the book. This is where like the common placing quotes that I enjoy and then me responding. So you see it's different colors as a quote and me responding go. This is also really helpful for my Patreon posts so I can get my thoughts out on the book that we're reading that month and then do a written post of that book. I love this. I wanted to do this and I've tried to do this in many a notebook this year and then I just couldn't figure it out because it was a mess. One page was Clarice I Spectre, one page was Mary Oliver, one page was you know another book and I wasn't keeping it in order so yes to rings for reading notes for me. Okay then we have poems. This is empty because I have not written any poems. Poems live everywhere in my house except for in a specific place for them. <laughs> they live in notebooks, on notes app, in text messages, in random scraps pieces of paper. I would love to keep them all in one place but I have not done so. So moving on, blank, <laughs> blank pages. I'm sure some of these will turn into different tabs over the years, over the next year or so. But definitely my favorite so far are the inks because I can just at any point someone asks me hey what ink is that I'm like hold on I literally have it swatched or if I have my pens with me and somebody wants to test it out they can just test it out on this paper so I do enjoy having this around with me and having this much space because you do know that I have my little passport ink notebook as well I like that I have a little bit more room in the A5 I really enjoy the diary section because I often need to get things out of my system. The scrap section is the bee's knees. Yes. Yes to keeping all the scraps, all the tissue paper, all the pictures. Yes. My reading journal specifically more so for reading notes than lists. This I don't use so much. This, this makes me happy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do about my poetry and then for right now blank. So I would say like these two might change but for now this is what it looks like. This goes with me everywhere I go and I use it and I change it for what I need in that moment and I like how I can alter it and play around with it and have a space for all of my hobbies without feeling like I'm stuck or I need to start a new notebook because it's messy, you know? And that's my binder. And that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have a ring system and what your tags say. Make sure to check the links in the description if you're interested in anything I mentioned in this video. And let me know if you have some ideas for those two tabs that I might not use about the poems and the blank. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!